yeah, freedom to, uh, feminism is, yeah, just freedom to exist and to be as you want um, in the world and to, you know, walk around and do whatever you, whatever you please and for you not to be restricted by society but also by the way in which you see yourself. Uh, which I think that is also also restricted from watching like the media and representations of women in popular culture, which is changing now. I think particularly since the Me Too movement, hopefully there will be an even bigger change. But you see a lot broader spectrum of uh, female characters in film or on stage, or uh, and, so, and, the, and that's just an ever growing thing. And I guess that I just want to be a part of that and showing, showing, you know. Just, just the reality, the internal reality of what it's like to be. To me, there's like, you know, true feminine tropes of, you know, these kinds of delicate women and um, the those sorts of softly spoken kind of uh, historical ideas of of women, or a lot of like the older characters that Nicole Kidman would play, um, <laughs> and then there's like this other kind of ridiculous, um, over-the-top feminine kind of trope. And I feel like that's kind of my drag. <laughs> I'd love to do this, I'd love to play at this, but I feel like, yeah. yeah but for me, femininity is a performative uh, thing. Uh, and uh, I think that regardless of the gender that you were born in, um, one can choose what um, you know, to be to be recognised as female or male, and um, it depends on really the the way that you feel about yourself and the way that you want to be recognised. And uh, for me, but for me, feminism or being a, a woman, uh, I mean, I always look at it as I just want to be myself and who I am, and you know, sometimes I enjoy dressing up and looking pretty like a woman and other times maybe I, I don't I don't enjoy kind of having that uh, wearing that that performative element on me and being more 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 neutral uh, and so I mean for me like my, my my feminism for me personally would be to be able to exist and live in whatever way I want and for that not to be a problem and for me not to be restri restricted in the choices that I make. And I feel I have a similar relationship with my femininity and approach it almost in the same way, that it feels uh, in by turns really familiar to me to, to embrace my femininity and then also like a complete costume or a complete mask and those two kind of interchange frequently. And there are times when I really connect with my masculinity, but people are still like, oh, you're so feminine. And, you know, they, they sort of see what they want to see. And that relationship with how you feel internally to what that looks like on the outside to a viewer or to an audience is really, really interesting as well. Yeah. It's too overwhelming. You know, the masks of each of those things are just too, too overwhelming to live under. So it's kind of a beautiful thing to be able to get inside both of them and blow them up.